All right, before we pave way for Roy T. Boy, let's have a conversation on the Mask Awards. And what is that, you're wondering? That's explanation we're going to give you in just a bit. And joining me now in studio is Alat Kachuk, the founder of Mask Awards. Thank you so much for making time for us this morning. How do you explain? What is Mask Awards? Let's start from there. Mask Awards is um, a competition for creative and innovative young people in Africa. Yeah. So we celebrate their creativity, their innovation, and it comes in all forms. Yeah. It comes in the form of art, or in ca it comes in the form of ideas, mm -hmm. solutions. So we invite young people to send us their beautiful work of arts across all media, paintings, drawings, yeah. collages, videos, films, dance, performance, singing, poetry. And then we also ask them to come up with solutions to three challenges we offer them every year. Yeah. And those challenges, education, we ask them to come up with ideas for future, school of the future. And then we also ask them how would they solve, for example, youth unemployment mm -hmm. or environmental problems. Yeah. And so what we want to see, we want to see creative people and young creative people express their creativity through various means. Yeah. It could be arts, but it could, could be good ideas. Yeah. And we want to link those two areas, arts and innovation. It seems they're not connected, but they are connected. Mm. And we say that if a young person practices arts from early childhood, yeah. he grows up, she grows up into innovative young person yeah. who then can come up with wonderful solutions it's interesting. to solve, solve our problems. Yeah. It's interesting what you're saying because how then do you decide these three areas? For example, like last year, the globe was dealing with a pandemic. Would that be one of the areas where you yes. pick? And now we're dealing with the drought in this end of side yeah. of the Sahara. So how do you decide these areas where art and innovation comes in? Exactly. We, regarding those challenges, yeah. indeed, youth unemployment uh, uh, shot up because of COVID. Yeah. And so we said to young people, can they create their own their own jobs. Yeah. So that's how we came up with youth unemployment challenge. But you're right, wonderful challenge for them to solve. Droughts, how do we solve that? Yeah. But again, uh, Trevor, what we want to do, we want to stress those two areas, arts and innovation. Mm -hmm. I know innovation is respected, people talk about it a lot, but somehow there's a vital link between art and innovation completely missing. And uh, I know from parents and from teachers that they don't make that link. And from business people, they don't make that link. And they believe that arts is almost irrelevant. Yeah. And we say our arts is so relevant, it's essential. If yeah. we want young people to be innovative in solving drought problems, mm. they need to do arts in school. Yeah. And not any arts. Uh, they, they should be experimental. So what we want to teach young people to look at the problem and see, see it from different angles, um, think outside the box. And art seems develop that skill very powerfully when the child is young and when that child practices art. Mm. And uh, as you know, competence-based curriculum is yeah. based in that, rooted in that, in creativity yeah. and creative thinking and imagination. That's vital. Yeah. So how does one participate? It's easy. You, or you go on our website, yeah. which is maskcreate.org, mm -hmm. and you upload your artwork or your idea. It's very easy. It's free. You can upload any number of ideas or artwork. And then we have a judge, judges panel who select the best. Mm -hmm. so uh, and so tomorrow yeah. we award the, the very best in those categories in schools, in arts and innovation. So is it categorized in terms of awarding the best or is it overall best? It's 
is best in schools. So we have three winning schools, and this year we have an uh, incredible number of schools participating, 131 compared to last year, 30. 130. Yes, the 100. Last year, the only 30. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes. That's a massive increment. And what do they stand to win? What are the prize may money? Do prizes are cash. Yeah. So cash prizes um, totaling 350,000 Kenya shillings. Yeah. And the winner in innovation category gets three months paid internship. Okay. And this year, that internship will be at Unilever's Heroes for Change social leadership program. Um, so it's fantastic for young people yeah. to be celebrated and acknowledged that their creativity is valued. It's yeah. very important. And what happens to the runners-up? I mean, what is the plan for that? Uh, runners-up. Do you have a we offer in, for example, we Yes, we offer in the best artists, and there are very many. Yeah. Uh, uh, place on our gallery, so we have an online gallery, Mask Art Gallery, um, and we're promoting them abroad. Yeah. They're, uh, they're a wonderful number of fantastic artists, fantastic yeah. artists. I've spoken yesterday to your future cabinet secretary for youth and arts, uh, Honorable Ababu Wabma, yeah. who is coming to open the event tomorrow. Okay. And we said that Kenya is well known for what your wonderful athletes. Yeah. And it will be well known for your beautiful, wonderful artists. It yeah. will be. Yeah. So if, if there's one, have you ever seen, what is the greatest innovation that touched you, that made you feel inspired? What is the one thing you saw out of all these categories that you thought, wow, this is something interesting? Do you know there were ranges? It's, it could be a cup. A, a girl once entered a picture of a of a paper cup and she put a zip on top. Yeah. I think it was just lovely touch. Yeah. Um, last year we had, in 2019, we had a winner, Danielle, who entered her idea of online hospital and she won a prize for that, internship prize. This year we are awarding a, a girl who offered a beautiful vision for the school of the future. Mm -hmm. The school of the future. School of the future. And, and it's such a beautiful vision that we're going to acknowledge that in the, uh, with the prize. Okay. And when is this happening? So that's Where? happening tomorrow, yeah. Saturday, at Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, okay. KICD. Um, is it free entry? It's is free entry. Uh, we, oh. we welcome everyone. Okay. Please come. It's, uh, it's free. It's, you don't need to bring even your ID, <laughs> I've been told. Okay. As we wind up on this, what is the one message you'd want a young person listening to you out there? to take home today? I want young people to really, um, really hear this message that art shapes creativity. Yeah. Creativity shapes innovation and innovation shapes the world. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Thank you for making time this morning. Thank you, Trevor. Alat Kachuk, the founder of Mask Awards, this is happening tomorrow at the Kenyan School of the Kenya Dhamma. Institute, yes. Institute of, of Curriculum Curic Development. That's KICD, Kenya yes. Institute of Curriculum at Development. At 12. At 12 p.m. At 12 noon. Yeah, that's p.m. Yeah, Thank you so much. <laughs> time. All right, that's where we leave it for now. Coming up next is Roy T. Boy on the decks. It's Friday. Enjoy yourselves, people, and have a great weekend ahead. My name is Trevor Mbidja. It's always a pleasure having you with us. Bye for now.